Hey guys, it's your good friend, Brian636. Coming to you today with a pretty cool video. It's a topic that uh, I've learned the hard way. Um, and it's a, it's a common thing for stunters, racers, anyone who really uses the brakes a lot, and that is brake fade. So today I'm gonna define it, and I'm gonna give you some, uh, pretty much five ways to help avoid it or help minimize the chance of you getting it. Um, and I normally don't have video sponsors, but today I took one because I feel like this app uh, is something that I use and it's pretty relevant to the community. So let's get in to the sponsored Amino app. Hey Brian, what are you doing out here? Oh hey, I'm on the new app called Amino. Come check it out. Okay. So guys, you can find me mostly in the off-road section here. I love seeing all the, the dirt bikes and especially some of the builds that these guys got going on. Here's a 1993 WR305. Super sweet bike. So guys, this is my favorite part of the app. I like taking the quizzes. Um, I like testing my own knowledge of how much I know motorcycles just by a quick little picture like this or a little snippet of a bike um, and, and test it out because at the end of the day, I'm just a motorcycle enthusiast like all, all of you. So I like to test my own knowledge on what different bikes are just by a little clip it like this. I think it's pretty fun. Um, and you guys should definitely check it out. And also, guys, there's cool chats. Of course, what do you think I'm in? I'm in the stunt chat. There's always people in here talking about um, where they're going next, where they are. Uh, here's a guy talking about uh, Kill All Streets 2018 and pretty much practicing for ROC 2018. There was a huge chat in here all talking about the prep uh, for some of these big rides this uh, past year, and I'm sure it's going to be the same way in 2019. So you guys definitely want to check it out. So, guys, as you know, I don't really do much... Um, much advertising on this channel for good reason, but I feel like this is one of the, the the apps that does apply to the channel, and it's not just some relevant or irrelevant company. So if you guys haven't already, I'll put the link down in the description. Find me over there at Brian636. Uh, we can connect better on there, but uh, I'll, I'll pin the comment and put the link in the description, but definitely go check it out, and, uh, and I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys over there. Let's get into the video. So guys, I think the first step here, um, and the best way to put everyone on equal playing grounds here is to define what brake fade is. Brake fade is basically you overusing your brakes to the point where they heat up so much that they don't work. AKA this lever would go to the bar, or this lever, my front brake lever. Um, either way, it's not something that you want. It's the fluid heating up so much and the brake components heating up so much that they don't work. Extremely scary thing to happen. Um, it's, like I said in the beginning, it's prone to racers and, uh, and stunters. Because if you're looking at all times, we're pretty much using some kind of brake. Whether it's the rear brake, the foot brake, the front brake for stoppies um, or burnouts. And then, of course, the rear brake for wheelies. And countering yourself back from balance point, you're going to use these components quite a bit. Which results in brake fade. Um, I'm sure I'll just drop some crashes right here. see you don't want that um it's not a fun thing i've got it i got it uh 2016 in the streets uh one of the scariest experiences ever because as you saw as you saw there my lever went completely to the bar um absolutely terrifying because that's like what you are relying on in a wheelie to counter you from going back too far so when that thing goes to the bar uh you don't have much to do besides just pray and hold on for the ride See if we can hit this really quick. Hopefully don't get brake fade. No hands. Woo! So you don't want that to happen. It's not a fun thing. Hello. <laughs> it's not a fun thing. Um, and there's a lot There's a lot of ways you can prevent it. And in this video, I am going to give you, see if I can do this with Ralph Louie. I'm going to give you five ways to prevent it. So let's start off with number one. And I think this is probably the most important because no matter how good a components um, you have, you'll still eventually get it if you're doing this. And that is riding the brake. Um, I think at the beginning of stunt riding, everyone does. 
I'll do my best to do it right here and I'm gonna sh use the handbrake because you guys can most easily see that and it's really 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 common in new stunt riders you come up and you're just dragging on the rear brake you hear how it's constantly fighting that the less you use this brake the better um, basically that's just gonna hold your brake pads on the rotor so of course they're gonna heat up this little kid's like, why are you talking? So of course they're going to heat up. So you want to come into the, to be the rider that uses as less, uh, or the least amount of uh, brake as possible. That's just going to ensure that you keep your, your rotors and your calipers at the lowest uh, temperature possible, and your fluid, of course, at the lowest temperature possible. Woo! That's the, that's the first way that I would say to, uh, to really prevent brake fade. Now on to some of the components that can really, really, really um, affect affect your braking power. And I'll, I'll list them off here for you. Get off the bike so you guys can see what I'm talking about a little bit better. Turn off my fans. So the first and foremost, and I'd say the second most important overall would be your brake fluid. Um, I'm not sponsored by this company. I'm not, I have no affiliation with this company. However, for me, it is the best. Um, and that is Motul 600 or Motul uh, 660. And what it is, is just a super high grade dot four. I have yet to really get brake fade on it. I run it in my handbrake, I run it in my front brake, and I run it in my foot brake. So every single part of my brake has them. And in one way or another, they help, uh, to prevent brake fade by increasing uh, the temperature that that brake fluid becomes unusable or partially boils. Uh, you, that's really important because uh, you, you, use the, you use the brake fluid from the gas station or the auto zone or something like that, it just doesn't, it's not going to meet up to the standards that what you or a racer or a stunter is really demanding of their brakes, which is to always work no matter what the temperature. Uh, so that's the second way that you can really prevent it. The third way, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to do these in an order, guys, of like most important, although you, I believe you should do all of them, is steel brake lines. This is huge. Uh, steel brake line, steel brake line, here, they're right there, steel brake line, and steel brake line. Why this is so important, stock uh, Harleys, sport bikes, whatever, they all come with rubber brake lines. Compared to steel, which one do you think has more flexibility? Yeah, of course, rubber. Um, so your steel brake lines aren't going to expand like the rubber ones, which is just going to result in a more, uh, in a more consistent type of brake. Man, this guy's flying. In a more consistent type of brake, you're a lot less prone to brake fade on a steel brake line because of that exact reason. Let's see if we can go do some stoppies. Sorry, I don't want this video to be too boring for you guys. I don't want me just talking. And yeah, at, at one point for about about a month there, I had uh, rubber brake lines on my front brakes and I was getting fade, even with the good brake fluid. <laughs> I think I scared her a little bit. So it'll basically, you know, make a more consistent brake so you trust your brake. So you can do that, roll up to uh, the stoppy lady and scare the heck out of her. So what have we covered so far? We got uh, riding the brake, we got steel brake lines, and now uh, we got brake fluid. The fourth, and uh, super important as well, uh, is, your, is your overall rotor size. So if I need, let's say, four inches of room to, uh, to stop. This is four inches on this, so it's about that much of a, uh, a tire rotation. This is four inches on this one, that much of a tire rotation. So it's a little bit less. So the bigger the rotor you have, the more stopping power you're going to have. It also means the more heat is going to get dispensed over an area. So if you have a super small um, rotor in the back, like a stock rotor, you're going to be a lot more prone to brake fade because it's a lot easier to heat it up. It's the same reason that they have holes and slots drilled in them to try to prevent heating them up. So the smaller they are, the more prone they are to heating up. It's basically the bigger rotor you have, the better it's going to be. Just know that. Woo. So 
guys, the fifth and uh, I don't want to say the least important, but it's just the one that ended up on the fifth part of my list here is your master and your calipers. I'll put them all together. Your master and your calipers. What size millimeter they are, how big they are, um, you know, pretty much determines what your stopping power is going to be. So yes, a Brembo compared to like the stock Nissan is going to be a lot more grabby, but at the same time, since it's more grabby, it's going to help you uh, from getting brake fade. So you want you want the appropriate millimeter um, your basic setup for your handbrake and for your front brake and for your foot brake. Guys, uh, look at that. Another one of our friends are here. What a beautiful day it is out here. So blessed that we get a, an awesome lot that we have permission for. It's a beautiful summer day and I get to be with my friends. I just said summer. It's a beautiful winter day and I get to be with my friends. So I hope you guys are having a good time like I am. I hope you guys, the ones that are new to the channel here, are enjoying it. And uh, I hope that the guys that aren't new to the channel here are still entertained by these videos. Let's see if we can shoot this gap. Woo! I hope the old guys are still entertained with it. Guys, uh, if you're not a subscriber already, whatever. Don't care anymore. It is what it is. Um, my videos are always going to be boring. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that I answered some of your questions and I hope some of you guys get to learn from my mistake because that mistake hurt a lot back, you know, it was almost three years ago now. Um, and just get the right components, get the right fluid, stop riding the brake, uh, you know, get your steel lines, get your right fluid, whatever. Get all the stuff and it's gonna hurt a lot less. It, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg for this stuff, but it could uh, if you fall, so. This is Brian636. As always, saying I hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, signing out. Peace out.